you guys are never gonna guess what the guys are doing right now. Check it out. We're gonna have a Christmas tree on the beach. Thanks to Sarah. That's right. And Sarah Jay. Jay. And Skyler and Kelsey. <laughs> on the base over here. Yeah, I got it. I just need a, there you go, pound it out. Pop that thing out, buddy. There you go. Oh, you nice got work. it. Excellent. Oh, here we go. Operated lights too. Guess who's here? Sarah and the kids have been decorating the Christmas tree, and they made it a rule that we should only decorate the tree with things that we find here at the beach. So here's what we've got so far. my bingo card and I don't have one yet and Sarah has found two sand dollars here and this which is I can't remember the name but this is also on the bingo card and she found one with both halves still connected so awesome and they made some little shells too I have to introduce you to the kids Kelsey and Skylar they are so well behaved and such cute kids. Oh my gosh, it's so fun being parked here. And Mike's having the time of his life down here fishing on the shore. Time to put some bait on again. All right. Look at this. This is what he's gonna put out. Oh, that's your bait? Yeah. O-M-G. You are going to get pulled into the sea. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> They're such adrenaline junkies. But I love them. You're going with a slightly safer bait, I see. <laughs> It's, what, more, it's um, kind of what I can get out there is what I'm going for. More manageable size. Yes. You want to get through the backbone, okay? So this is like 80 pound test, I think. 60 to 80 pound test. It's heavy, braided line. And if you try to cast this, this is a six ounce weight out here. So if you try to cast this thing and you don't have a glove on, it'll cut your finger. And so you got to put a glove on to throw this thing out there, so.
Gonna, he's actually going to carry his bait out on a drone. He's going to use a drone to launch his, take his bait way out there. He's got a reel over there that'll go for miles. <laughs> he's got a lot of line. Check out Mike's first fish. Not first fish ever. It's first fish on this fishing trip. Biggest fish I think I've ever caught. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, this is a red drum again. Look at that sucker. Wow. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to cast, and then I'm going to the bathroom again. <laughs> and I'm not changing my underwear. because the bus won't blow away. Yeah, I guess right. so. The everything van bite. Everything else is blowing away. Yeah, there. everything else outside is blowing away. Okay, note to self, don't scratch your eye. Gypsy, what are you doing? I'm on uh, TikTok, TikToking it with my She's live She's doing a live people. TikTok right now? <laughs> That's outrageous. Candace is out there doing her TikTok live in the super wind right now with snow drifts or sand drifts blowing by. Uh, trying to hold the door with my foot and the wind is blowing so hard. <laughs> it's probably it's 30 mile an hour winds right now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty intense outside actually. something crafty to do with all my little butterfly shells. Oh, and we found out the name. They're called coquina or butterfly clam shells. I think there was something else to some other nickname. But I'm gluing them. I'm making little kind of postcard thingies for 
Christmas. <laughs> I know they don't look very Christmassy, but these are going to be my Christmas cards this year. <laughs> so here's the final finished product of my seashell arts and crafts. And I'm not sure which was more painstaking, the watercolor background, because I am no artist, or trying to glue on these teeny tiny seashells with nothing to hold on to. It was incredibly difficult. So I think these will be the last seashell Christmas cards I ever make. <laughs> but it was fun to do them. It was, um, I don't know, it was just special. A special way, I guess, to commemorate our time here on the beach and finding all these butterfly shells. One of the best things about this beach is the ice cream bus! Right. It's like a little schooly convention over here. <laughs> <laughs> to dump out today's seashell find. Oh my gosh. I still keep picking up those butterfly shells even though I do not need any more of them. This was Mike's find. <laughs> it's a little scuba guy with tanks on his back. <laughs> Where's the baby's ear? Oh, there it is, there it is. It's so small, like this sundial. Okay, where are we at on seashell bingo? Let's check the bingo card. We have our Southern Quahog. We have our Atlantic Bay Scallop. We have a new giant Atlantic Cockle over here, so I, I'm going to get rid of this one because I like the really giant. It's called a giant cockle. I'm glad I found a giant one this morning. And then we also have the sawtooth pin shell, which is this right here. Turkey wing, which is that right there. A lettered olive, which is that right there. And today I found a sundial, which is that right there. And a what is it called it's a baby's ear but it has the rest common of its atlantic name baby's ear. common atlantic baby's ear this one's so cute i don't know if you can see the pattern in the lines on it it's really neat when you can see the little the pattern in the lines in it it looks almost like you're looking at a fossil of a shell instead of a real shell. It's strange. And there's the other side. That's why it's called a baby's ear. This side of it looks exactly like a baby's ear. <laughs> and then I also have, for the bonus round, these butterfly shells. I found out the name. They're called Coquina, which somebody shared with us um, in our comments on one of our videos. And then this little shell that I don't know the name of, I found three of them. And then this teeny tiny little shell with a point. And then I also found a shark's tooth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of 20 on my bingo card, plus four bonus items. Gosh, you 
you guys. This is the sun rising on Christmas morning, okay? Oh, wait, can you see it? There's Reed and Jen enjoying the sunrise. And here's our little camp with Jay and Sarah and Skylar and Kelsey. And there's Gypsy under supervised, us, and there's Reed and Jen's bus. And this is our little Christmas encampment and the Christmas tree. I'm just waiting for the kids to get up and open presents. It's gonna be great. That's my Christmas dinner with um, a pumpkin roll and peanut butter pie for dessert. Peanut butter pie compliments of Gypsy Under Supervisor over here. So I think it's time for me to put the camera down and eat. Oh my god, too close to the fire again. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, who's really? that guy? Can you fly in the air again? The person with the red one doesn't jump as much. Oh, unfortunate. The guy with the green not only does. Oh!
Christmas lights he got for, I mean, his bike lights he got for Christmas. That's what they are. <laughs> Great place for a kid to grow up on the beach, right? They're having the time of their lives out here. But the lens of our camera is fogging up and then the camera can't really focus. So I only have like a few seconds that I can film before I have to turn the camera back off and clean the lens again. Okay, we were already expecting some unfair weather today. There was rain in the forecast and possible winds. <gasps> he just caught a huge shark! Oh my gosh! <laughs> so here's what storm fishing will do for you. <laughs> Where'd Mike go? Hey Mike, come check out this shark. Hold on, I got one. Hey. 